Hello there, my name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm delighted to be able to review Eye Candy by Eric Ross from Hanson Chen Productions. Before I do this review, I'd like you very much to check out my online card magic course. Actually, by the time you watch this, it'll be all manner of magic. It's changing from card magic course to something else, but click the link below. Uh, over 500 videos so far, there's gonna be loads more on it. It's a huge resource, live sessions every week, but everything's uploaded to the course and nearly all of it, except for the live sessions, are downloadable. And you can cancel any time. There's no kind of, you haven't got to sign up for a year or anything like that. So super easy, have a look at it. And, uh, and that's that. And like and subscribe. If you like this, if you don't like it, don't you don't have to like and subscribe. If you don't like it, don't watch it because there's quite a lot of stuff you can watch, isn't there? That's better than stuff that you don't like. So, but if you like it, do that, share it with your friends, all that. So, um, I'm interested to talk about this. I like things that are going to divide people, and this is going to divide people a lot. And I'd love to hear your comments about this because don't forget, I talk about all the comments on Thursday evenings at five o'clock UK time on the comments on comments show that's live come along and hang out it's uh, i really enjoy it and, and i'll answer all your questions live and the comments you put previously in the week so here's the trick you pop a tic tac in your mouth and you go right it's gonna it's gonna move up the kind of the, the parts of my face uh, and come out of my eye or you, you or you can just say that or just do it and then you eat the tic tac and you can get an audience member if you want to kind of can you feel it there can you feel it there and it and it and, and you do that and it pops out your eye, literally. You see it, all right? So this, that part of it isn't an illusion. Obviously, this is a magic trick, so there's parts of it that is, but they are actually going to see that. Eyes are horrible, aren't they? Uh, look at eyes, doing stuff like that for many people. So straight away, some of you are going to go, this isn't for me. But keep watching, because I think it's an important discussion. This comes under, this is geek magic, isn't it? It's, it's, it's that kind of freak show magic. The, the stuff that we all kind of, a lot of us are fascinated with, but we know is horrible. Now, I have always been interested in this side of it. The his, history of freak shows, all that really, really interests me. It's our, it's our history of what we do. It's our heritage. A lot of what we do comes from there, and I, I absolutely love it. I was a fan of the Jim Rose Circus as a teenager, so I would you know, go and travel to watch people do, you know, what many people would think of as horrible things on stage and, and delight in it. Uh, I really, really loved it because that was my thing. I'm a big horror fan. I kind of like that thing of, of things that are horrible but kind of safe. Uh, and we'll talk about whether this is safe in a, in a moment. And But of course, it's not for everybody and it's for a certain context. That's really important with this stuff. Don't think about doing this kind of thing. And I know you won't, I'm, you know. It's quite obvious, but you wouldn't do this sort of thing at your, your kind of VIP do when everybody's having their dinner. But I think there is a time and a place for this if it suits your style. The first thing is that the is it safe? Is it something you're going to want to set up and do? This does require quite a challenging setup in the way that I I'm not squeamish about this kind of stuff. But it took me a fair few goes to get you've got to stick something in your eye. Basically, that's what you've got to do because that's where it comes out. Of, and I think it's OK to say that. So again, a lot of people are going to say, well, I don't want to do that. That's fine. And if you, even if you do want to do it, it took me a fair few goes. And you, like he says, on it, you do have to kind of get used to it. It's something that is going to feel really weird uh, at the beginning. And, and it's not as bad as I learnt Wayne Ouchin's thread. I never performed it, but I learnt it. And that's a similar thing where you swallow a piece of thread and it comes out. Your eye, and that took more of a setup. And that was, I found that quite challenging, but still managed to do it. This isn't like that. It's fairly easy. And actually what he does in the tutorial is he, he gets someone uh, that's never done it and says, right, you do it. And, and just to prove that how easy it is. And, and they just kind of were well up for it um, and went for it. So I can't say whether it's safe or not because I haven't looked into it and researched it. It seems to be from, from what they're doing, but I'm sure things can go wrong. But I don't think, let's just say, I don't think things can get lost. I don't think, but don't hold me to that legally. It's just an opinion based on very little information. You've got to be careful with, with um, sanitising things, of course. He does say you should get yourself some, um, some contact lens fluid and sanitizer, all that kind of stuff. So, so that's there. There's a pair of tweezers if you want to do it properly. If you get a little box with a mirror in it, I'm not going to show you any of this stuff. But, you know, you, or I will say I have done it. I have set it up. I have done all that thing. And it was important to, to share that. So I 
it, it, it's easy as well, by the way. That's really, let's not forget this is a magic trick. Let's not dwell on the fact that it's kind of a weird magic trick. It, it's easy. You, you, once you've set it up, you, there's really nothing. There's a bit of sleight of hand that you can do as a convincer at the end if you want. When, if you basically want to show that you're going to eat it, which again, some people are going to go, Ugh. Uh, but again, some situations. Uh, very simple, nothing difficult. So most people are going to be able to do this once you've got over that initial hurdle. And it's set up way before, so you're kind of clean, so to speak. Uh, before you start. What he does also, it's, um, is it Sean Chow, or Sean, Sean Cho, I think he pronounces it, and, uh, and Poker Chan, they show you two different kind of performances. One's a quite serious one to music, where he kind of acts it going up, and one is getting members of the audience to kind of, you know, can you feel it? And he gets their finger, and he goes, can you feel it? And they push it out into another spectator's hand. Now, again, <laughs> <laughs> now, where's that going to fit? That's you. You've got to really be able to know your audience to do that because that is horrible. Yeah, you know, we're, we're living in times where it's not even alright to shake someone's hand, let alone uh, secrete a tic tac from your eye into it. But I, I did. I thought it was delightful. I watched it, and the woman that's doing it, her responses were just amazing. And some people look at that and go, "No, it's unfair." Of course, they must have cleared that. And it was. But I love that. I love that really extreme response in certain situations. It's great. Like, I've got, I've got no doubt I will do this. I will do this to friends, to people in certain situations and just love every minute of it. I really like it. Many of you on and are going to like this and I love, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You get four gimmicks, so different sizes as well, which is important. Uh, these are gimmicks, of course. You're not using, you know, go and buy some Tic Tacs, but this is what you're getting. Don't think you're just learning how to do this with normal Tic Tacs. You're really not. That's dangerous. You don't want to be using normal Tic Tacs. He does um, follow this and uh, mention this. And then in the tutorials, they give you loads of information on how to do it. There's like two different tutorials uh, from the guys I mentioned. And then I'm just going to make sure I get that name right. Um, Poker Chen. It is Poker Chen, isn't it? Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, you get love tutorials, then Eric Ross does a tutorial, and uh, <laughs> it's just so. Because you're reading the subtitles and they keep mentioning the eye bag, you know, getting your eye bag. It's, it's so horrible, isn't it? The idea of an eye bag. And what I didn't like is because I had to look in a mirror and do it, is how old my eyes are now. I kind of got, got a bit close and didn't like it. But anyway, I, uh, I'm going off on one. Uh, I think for those of you that like this sort of thing, you're going to love it. Well worth getting. It will last you forever. Um, I did drop them when I was trying to put them in. So again, be careful if you're over sync with a with a plug hole, all that kind of stuff. You, it might take you a couple of goes. So just be mindful of that. And again, lots and lots of sanitizer, cleansing liquid, all that. Um, some of you are going to hate it. And of course, I completely understand that as well. I don't think there's anything else that I've forgotten. Other than, you know, you're going to have to... Uh, act, you know, you're going to have to perform this, you're going to have to milk it for all it's got. There's so much potential in this. Uh, and I'd love to know if you've tried it or if you do any other stuff like this, if you're that sort of, I know Kieran Johnson's doing, uh, or Kieran Lefevre's doing loads and loads of stuff like this at the moment. Um, not like this trick, but actually the real stuff. So, uh, so I'm interested to, to see if he's got a word on it as well. But anyway, uh, take care. Thanks a lot. That's Eye Candy. Thank you to Handsome Chen Productions for sending that to me. Uh, remember, comment below, like and subscribe, check out carmagiccourse.com or click the link below if it's called something else by then, but that will take you through to the, my online magic course anyway. And uh, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.